go. Okay, I'm recording. All right, I'm using this uh, rechargeable, rechargeable nine volt to power this thing. And I guess I don't need all of this in the video, but show you how to put it in there. Route this thing through there. Just sits in there. All right, so this powers the Arduino. Boom. And I'll sit down here. This is recording, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so, and I'm going to use Robo Remo uh, software which is a, a great app for the phone and only costs a couple of dollars for the pro version and it is here Robo Remo and I've got my motor power this is a graph current angle uh, oh I gotta connect so I connect uh, and to Jim And you can see the current angle in the graph. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it jumping up and down there. And this is just a little text screen to, for debug information. And then I got a P, I, P, I and D uh, sliders. And that's it. And so I'm going to start it up. And there we go. We've got a P, a P, and I can adjust the the set point with my potentiometer. Uh, I can't see. Yeah, it's working. And let's just see if I decrease the P. It's just going to bob a little bit less. If I decrease it a long way, it'll fall over. But from 60 to 100 is about ideal. And I can turn off... If I turn off my eye, it just drifts away. And I see a lot... A lot of... Um, a lot of... These... Uh, self-balancing robots drifting away and actually all I think they had to do was to up the the P and also I'll shut off my D so now it's just a P controller and a P controller will balance it no problem but drifts away so all I'm going to do is give it a huge I I mean a huge I and reset my set point a bit and there we go so with a big with a big eye I've got a big eye and it is a lot better about not drifting it does drift off some because I got no wheel encoders And maybe I'll give it a bit more P, and it'll react a bit faster. And now, most of this jerking around is just because of the backlash of these yellow motors. They have terrible backlash. Now, the D won't do a lot for me. Actually, they, uh, the D is, is making it oscillate. So, but still, pretty steady for considering it's on a smooth tabletop. But the really the point I wanted to really show was, you take that eye out of it, and bam, she's gone. 
She drifts away. So this paper that I read about how much I, I should be about five times, at least five times P, and that will keep it from drifting off. So now I've increased my I to 571, and that's way over five times, and keeps it in place. And that's with no wheel, in, no wheel encoders. Pretty good, very happy with that. So, balancing really well on a smooth surface, doesn't drift too much, and a lot of that is probably due to the fact that these motors are not matched. It takes a little less power for one motor than it does for the other to get, start it rolling. So, this is basically a PI controller. I can just put the D to zero. It doesn't make any difference. And it'll stay in place. The PI controller with I about five times P, which you don't see that anywhere except in this one paper that I'll reference in my video. So anyway, there it is. Two yellow motor self-balancing robot with no wheel en encoders on a smooth surface. And it's mostly only due to that huge uh, eye term in the PID controller. That's awesome. All right, so my next video, I'm going to put some directional control on this one. I'll put a joystick in here and uh, see if I can't do, get it to do some forward and backward and uh, some turning.